the Rhine Metal Borsig MK-103, MK, Mask Einen Kanon, was a German 30mm caliber autocannon that was mounted in German combat aircraft during World War II. Intended to be a dual-purpose weapon for anti-tank and air-to-air -air fighting, it was developed from the MK-101. Compared to the MK-101 it was faster firing, and was originally intended to develop a higher muzzle velocity than the MK-101. Unlike the MK-101, the MK-103 used a belt feed, allowing it to potentially carry a larger ammunition load. The MK-103 used electrically primed rather than percussion primed ammunition. The operating mechanism differed from the recoil-operated MK-101 in that it used a combination of gas and recoil operation. After firing, gas pressure served to unlock the breech, while barrel recoil was used to cycle the action, eject spent cartridge and load a fresh one. Because of a combination of lower-grade steels and lighter components, the mechanism of the MK-103 was not as strong as the MK-101. To counteract this weakness, he ammunition with a reduced load of propellant was used, resulting in a loss of about 100 m/s in muzzle velocity compared to the MK-101. However, the rate of fire was increased. The MK-103 entered service in 1943 as the main armament of the HS-129B1 ground attack/tank destroyer aircraft, mounted on the underside of the fuselage in a conformal gun pod. The original specification for the MK-103 called for it to fit inside an aircraft's engine mounting, possibly as a motor canona, firing through a hollow propeller hub, however, it proved to be too large and heavy to fit into small fighters like the BF-109. If mounted elsewhere, such as in the wing, the asymmetric force of the cannon's recoil tended to yaw the aircraft's nose to one side. The only known usage of the MK-103 in a motor canona installation was in the Du-335. A modified version with a reduced profile barrel, the MK-103M, was developed and possibly tested for possible use as a motor canona cannon on single-engine fighter planes such as the BF-109K, but probably never saw active service. As a consequence, the MK-103 was largely restricted to the role of an air-to-ground weapon for use against armored vehicles. Projectile weights for the MK-103 were 330 grams, 12 ounces, for the He-M ammunition and 355 grams, 12.5 ounces, for APCR ammunition. Armor penetration for APCR 4252mm, 1.72.0 in, Slash 60 degrees slash 300 m, 980 feet, or 7595 mm, 3.03.7 in, slash 90 degrees slash 300 m, 980 feet. A limited production series of the FW190A fighter and FW190F ground attack fighter, which utilized a particularly strong wing slash fuselage design, incorporated two MK103 cannons one mounted under each wing in a conformal, gondola-style pod. Later in the war the MK-103 was also used as a ground-based anti-aircraft, AA, weapon, using single or dual mounts. It was also used as a flak autocannon in the Flak Panzer IV Kugel Blitz. Developed alongside the MK-103 was the lighter MK-108 cannon, which had a shorter barrel and used a modified blowback operating system. It fired the same projectile, using a smaller cartridge case with less propellant, at a relatively low muzzle velocity. The shorter barrel made it more adaptable, so it saw much greater use. MK-103 Type Single Barrel Automatic Cannon Place of Origin Germany Service History In service 1942-1945 Used by German Armed Forces, Airborne and Land-Based Wars World War II Production History Manufacturer Rhine Metal Borsig Specifications Weight 141 kg, 311 pounds Length 235 cm, 93 in, with muzzle brake Barrel length 134 cm, 53 in, barrel length, L-44.7 
44.7 calibers. Cartridge 30X184B. Cartridge weight 800 grams, 28 ounces, he slash M. Caliber 30 millimeters, 1.181 in. Action gas slash recoil. Rate of fire 380, he slash M, to 420, APCR, round slash min. Muzzle velocity 860 m s, 2800 feet s, he m, 940 m s, 3100 feet s, APCR. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.